I'm in Natalia at the event yesterday. You sit in the back. I said, oh my gosh, I'm sitting next to a celebrity. Did everybody get to me? Did I get your honor? Yeah, I said, yeah. A yeah. celebrity, you are. but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, but I, yes, I feel like you all are, like, we now. all are celebrities. I know, I'm, I'm an aspiring celebrity, you know, and you know, to become a celebrity, you gotta surround yourself with. So, you know, it's not an accident that we all need to be together. It's not an accident. That's right. That's right. So my mom, body, and spirit got me right here, right now. <laughs> so, you know, so, you know, I'm a mom for new on a mission. And um, that's what I call myself. Because I'm on a mission to help free moms. Moms who either are aspiring to be mom for new or who are already mom for new. Yeah. Right, and they may not have that balance, and they may not have the, you know, they just don't have the tools and the strategies to help them um, get to the success that they want because of something that block, that's blocking them. So, you know, see, I want to know, like, how do you balance being a mom and a successful entrepreneur, you know, and all at the same time? Because it's, um, okay. <laughs> and it helps to have, it definitely helps to have a supportive spouse. So, I know. I mean, and even in the event today, that's all we heard, back to back to back to back to back. My spouse supported me. You gotta have a support system. Not everybody has that. Not everybody exactly. has that. And my well, husband is not in your cell. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. And my mother. And like, and like myself, because my husband, he's not in the beach. He supports me to a point. To a point. But he still expects dinner on the table at 5 o'clock. You know what I mean? And I have to tell him, honey. Man's gotta eat. Right, but it may be at 7.30 and not 5. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel him, but it may not be at 5. And, you know, sometimes I may have to stay up late and he's like, honey, you coming to bed? I'm like, you know, I have to do this last block post or whatever. So, you know, it's, it's a balance. And, and somebody said today, uh, I think it was Ron was Ron, I said, you can't have that four-legged table. You have to have a three-legged table. And yep. every life is not always going to be a balance. Exactly. It's not going to be a balance. And... And I think that's so important because sometimes in our mind, especially as moms, we feel like we have to balance everything, right? We have to balance the husband, we have to balance the kids, we have to balance our business. So how do you stay balanced and build your business as successfully as you have and still raise your beautiful daughter and keep your husband happy? Yeah, um, I think it all comes down to just knowing what your duties are. Like in our business, we have income producing activities. And we're not talking about like listening to an audio or, you know, <laughs> listening to an inspiring person. Like this. These are things that you should be doing in your business already. We're talking about the things that actually produce an income. What are the actions that we take that produce an income? So I took that same mentality and brought it into my household. So you're talking about a man, right? But what are my wifely duties to my husband? Okay, boom, 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 boom. These are the activities that I know that I have to do every day. Um, the same thing in my business, boom, 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 boom. Now, the other things, I just don't focus on them. I know that I need to do them every single day, but that's not my focus. It's already done, I will handle it. And then with my daughter, I just put the focus on her. You know, having a one year old and a half is literally, it, it requires you to put all your attention, all your energy, all your focus on her. So nap time, you know, it's real funny. Before I had a daughter, you know, it's just like, it would take me, you know, two hours to write a blog post. I gotta edit this image. It's gonna take me 30 minutes to do that. All of a sudden, I had a baby. I write a blog post. I can get on a podcast. I can call up a friend and talk for an hour. I got all sorts of time on my hand, and I got so many things accomplished. Was able to cook for my husband kitchen and go upstairs and pick my daughter, make sure she's good, and still have a little bit of time to just sit around and chill, maybe take a shower. Like, and so you start thinking about what are the activities that you must do in your business? What are the activities that you must do in your life? As a wife, well, you know, we wake up in the morning, I start my wifely duties immediately, you know? As a mother, my wifely, my motherly duties are constant. As a business owner, they are when my family life turns off. Because I cannot look someone else in the eye and tell them, um, put your family on the background so that you can do this business because I don't. I put my family first. I put Justin first. I put my friends first. Why? Because they mean that much to me. Yeah, it is my life. It is my life. Yeah, it is. 
And so, you know, even even us were sitting here talking, and she's like, yeah, let's shoot a video. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm just chilling. And she's like, oh, impromptu. I'm like, okay, you know what? It's impromptu. Let's go ahead. Let's talk. Because you don't make a million dollars by mistake. You see, you can make $10. You can make a couple grand. You can make... You could even hit, you know, 50 grand, a couple more. You could do it haphazardly. But the truth is, you don't hit a million by mistake. And so the one piece of advice that I would have to tell you is to keep focus. What are your, you know, your your consistent um, activities that will produce you an income? And you have to be honest with yourself because the things that you initially tell yourself that would make you an income, you have to look at that list and be like, okay, how do I monetize listening to an audio? You don't. It's for your personal enrichment and then you send that out to the people that you speak to. Your videos become better, your blogs become better. It enriches you as an individual and then you therefore enrich other people. But does that pay the bills? No. You keep it moving. So you have to look at your business as if you were look as if you were an investor looking to invest in your business. You see? That's how I look at my business. That's why I have internships and we hire employees offsite to come work with us in home every week. Because you have to look at it from the perspective of an investor. Is an investor going to invest in a mom with a passion who just works haphazardly and is hoping to hit her goal? No. But an investor will work with a passionate woman and mother and wife who is determined to reach her goal so much so that when her daughter falls asleep, she's rummaging around the house, cleaning the house, doing her duties, cooking the dinner for the man, Everybody, then coming back and she will stay up for four hours just doing her work. Why? Because it's her life. So I think that that's what it all comes down to. And, and single women, you know, women who don't have children, we have to start thinking hey, everyone, about their perspective because they are the majority, right? So how would you come in? You know, ultimately, I think that I'm closer. I think women in general, I'm gonna walk back into the you already know you're a multitasker. So I just want to thank you all. Yeah. Already. You don't even need to have children to know you're a multitasker. You don't have a child. You know how to multitask your duties with one child. You have another year, child, you're automatically, you it's ingrained in us to know how to multitask with two children. So if you're going to sit here and make excuses that you can't make time for your business because you have one child, that's bullshit, excuse me. But you already know that you can multitask had you have another child. So my thing is, no, I don't have children, but I do have a huge music career. And I have to balance the two. My music career is also my baby, as well as, you know, anything else that I put into it. Ultimately, like, I look at it like, I already know how to multitask. It's ingrained in women to do so. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I know how to take care of my man at the same time as taking care of my career, and I know what priorities go with what. So, you got it all figured out. You know, you want to ask a lot of questions, but you really already know the answer. And all you have to do is close your eyes and figure it out. That easy. Don't stress yourself out over it. There's so many tools, so many easy tools anymore that it, it takes anybody, even people who don't have children, people who do have children, people who have many children, anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. So I don't want to hear any excuses. Yeah. That's right. You know, we're having a good time. Right. We're going to stay the rise of We're in Las Vegas. We decided this was a really good Mom of one to the mom of multiple that no matter what, you know, we're all gonna have things that are in in our lives. But we can accomplish anything we want. If we put our mind, we prioritize, right? That's basically what we said, prioritization. And you know, just going after it. We have it in the world. So thank you. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Dee. I appreciate you guys. And it was great. All right, we're going to go back to what we were doing, hanging out as ladies. Hanging out. Hanging out, you know, without our kids, you know. Without, hey, hey. hanging out no, right baby, now. you got to rocks. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs>